Hey everybody, Reckless Ones here again. We're gonna do a breakdown of Dylan Patterson's one of a kind drum kit. Dylan here, legend. Take us a walk uh, around Drumtown, man. Hi, I'm the mayor of Drumtown, I guess. The mayor. So what I'm playing here is uh, basically regular drum kit. Uh, just small. Uh, this kit is a trick song. It's from uh, Germany from the 60s. So 20 inch kick drum, 16 inch floor tom. I like to use coated heads on both sides to try to kill as much overtone as possible. Don't like super huge boomy sounds. And when you're playing, you know, theaters and stuff like that, you know, it doesn't really matter. It's don't touch it. I told you when we started this thing, it was like, I'll do my thing and then you do your thing. All right, I'll be back. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, it's a regular drum kit, just a little bit taller. A brand new Ludwig 14 inch snare I bought because my old one was just all messed up. And a steel shell, so I'm try trying to kind of increase the volume. But I still use like a thick batter head. I use like E-rings here to try to kind of kill that <laughs> sound. Over time. As far as cymbals, I have a 16 inch medium thin crash. It sounds like. You ready? <laughs> kind of like a fusion. Like those restaurants that pop up everywhere. Went over to the rides. Just an Avedis 20 inch ride. It's a reissue from like the old 60s style. In the recording uh, studio, he had a 22 inch version of this. And I just loved it. So I was like, I'll buy the 20 inch one. I like it a lot. It sounds great. It can be forever to find a, a right symbol that I actually like. Uh, hi hat. I just had like some A custom bottom, and uh, I have this hi hat symbol that I bought at Goodwill for like three dollars. It's old, so it. it throws a lot of I love drum. As far as a regular setup here, it's your standard drum kit. This is a nice little hi hat clutch. The nice. Clamp. Paul Rohn from the Quake showed me this and saving me a bunch of trouble having to bring a full actual hi hat stand. Nice little accessory. Clamp it on and then I can adjust it. Bring in here, would you? This is the cool thing here. Hi, America. This is my this is my rig. <laughs> so you got a polished shaft I got from Mick Master car, 40 inches long. It's just a, uh, it's a part for like a heavy machinery, but it's strong enough and I have it running all the way down. And then you can't see it, but internally I have like a clamping system. So I give this the rigidity it needs when I'm running it. Way taller than it was originally intended for. The original symbol mount is like wimpy. Looks nice and clean. Come around here, come around here. I'm actually using a snare stand for my floor tom so I can get the height that I need. Uh, a lot of hacks, a lot of smart hacks. You know, it's... <laughs> I've been called worse. Okay. <laughs> but call me. Uh, a few of the modifications I've found that really helped me along the road of life. Uh, when you're a stand-up drummer, you know, you don't have the same community of like a regular drummer. You sit down drummers, you know, they're just, it's a different breed. Pack of wolves, you know, and they're lazy. They're sitting down all the time. I'm a stand-up guy. Uh, anyway, that's my rig, you guys. That's my drum kit. I've had it for probably maybe 14 years. Way. Yeah. When I ordered it, they shipped it from sh this like Chicago drum shop. And UPS fucking broke it. So I had to like instantly get this new vintage kit I bought and have it go get repaired. Kind of heartbreaking. Take us for a spin, man. Probably way too fucking loud. There you go, everybody. Dylan's drum kit. World class kit. No, you don't come in here.